Looking to catch a glimpse of a storm wall? Ever wonder where Orison got its name? Learn these facts and more on an Orison Discovery Shuttle Tour, departing from this station every few minutes. We at Orison Discovery Tours would like to thank you for joining us today. As we begin to depart, I'd like to point out our first attraction, the Stratus Shopping Center on Cloud View Center. While it certainly houses some of the most exciting brands in the Empire today, there's a whole lot more going on than you might think. Architects brought in a team of environmental psychologists, sociologists, and designers to create an immersive shopping experience. One of the chief commandments handed down by Crusader Industries' residential operations team was to make sure that the Stratus felt unified with the outdoor spaces. To that end, the designers struck a balance between nature and architecture. More than just the name of a spaceport, Crusader Industries founder August Dunlow led a memorable and incredible life. Born on Angeli in the Croshaw system, he was orphaned in the aftermath of the bloody Kanos Stadium coup that ousted Imperator Messer X. Saved from the streets by a local charity, Dunlow was able to pursue his academics while volunteering in his spare time. Upon graduating the University of Angeli, he became a prominent anti-Messer activist and civil rights advocate, pushing for government reform. August founded Crusader Industries in 2799 on the principle that a business truly thrives when it gives back to society. Today you stand among these majestic clouds thanks to his incredible vision that a company can be both financially profitable and a force for good. All right, everybody. We're now going to be moving away from the limits of Orison into what a lot of you have been waiting for, Stormwall Territory. Now, it's not guaranteed that you'll catch a glimpse of these majestic creatures, as their migratory patterns vary based on the time of year. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Did you know that despite the size of the Stormwall, they are actually quite light? It's true. These creatures have a fascinating physiology that allows them to not only exist in the upper atmosphere of Crusader, but also dive beneath the cloud line, where the pressure is increasingly dangerous. Cutting a stark contrast against the vibrant sky, the sweeping lines of Orison's signature storm wall sculpture captures the grace and beauty of the gentle creatures it portrays. Formerly titled Until Again, artist Bipasha Zhu says that she was inspired by the city's harmony and weightless strength. To better understand her bashful subjects, Bipasha spent a week living in a cloud submersible, studying the storm walls up close. Talk about taking your art to new depths. Art aficionados and visitors to Orison who want to get their own first-hand storm wall encounter should jump on board the next Orison Discovery Tour shuttle. While their exact evolution is unknown, the storm walls feed on small organisms that live in the cloud banks. The filaments attached to their appendages act like thousands upon thousands of tiny sensors. They use these sensors to identify and track the slight electromagnetic emissions from the tiny creatures they feed upon. This feeding process not only gives us our best opportunity to see them, but also allows the stormwall to fill its inner flight bladders with hydrogen and helium, which allows it to maintain its buoyancy. Incredible, right? You're probably wondering. How the heck are all these heavy platforms staying up in the air? I mean, it's pretty crazy when you think about it, right? Well, without getting into super boring science stuff, let's just say that the planet of Crusader is quite unique among gas giants. This area of the atmosphere not only has breathable air, but also finds a gravitational sweet spot where these structures are able to stay aloft. It's not permanent, though. As time goes on, atmospheric drag, solar wind, and interaction from other objects have an effect. Even all of you just walking around cause the city of Orison to slowly sink towards the cloud line. But don't hop on your ship and flee just yet. Crusader engineers installed a series of thrusters into every platform that will fire at precise times to push the city back up into that gravitational sweet spot. Keeping Orison supplied and the shipyard stocked is an incredible operation in and of itself. On a normal day, over a quarter of a million SCU worth of cargo is moved between manufacturing platforms, shipyards, and support facilities with the help of Crusader's Atlas-class cargo ferries. 
specifically designed with an open top to expedite the loading and unloading of cargo, these barges run all day long and are the lifeblood of production on Orison. Over 5,000 Crusader employees focus solely on the logistics that keep these barges full and flying to their next drop point. This beautiful ballet of people, ships, and cargo ensures that everything in Orison is running as effectively and efficiently as possible. The name Crusader Industries actually has two meanings. First, it represents a commitment to stay on the forefront of ship manufacturing ideas. Though the company got its start building reliable planetary shuttles, the team of engineers constantly looked to push the commercial ship market. Whether it was by developing a new feature of engineering, or simply looking to fulfill a new area of public demand. Secondly, the name references the company's commitment to vigorously advocate for what is morally right across the Empire. Company founder August Dunlow has made giving back a cornerstone of the company ever since its inception in 2799. That means when you support Crusader Industries, you're supporting a company dedicated to improving the Empire for all. If I could direct your attention out of the left side of the shuttle, do you see those other platforms in the distance? Well, Providence isn't the only industrial platform in Orison. As their ships became more and more in demand, Crusader has started to construct more platforms to handle the additional orders. For example, three of the newer platforms were named after three distinguished engineers and executives from Crusader's history, Milford, Kaplan, and Shimura. Unfortunately, these platforms aren't open to the public, but, like Providence, they not only handle ship construction, but are also responsible for fabricating new platforms, building replacement parts for existing platforms, and even refining gases gathered locally. Though it's common knowledge that Crusader Industries works with the Navy on a handful of contracts, it's less well known that Providence Platform was originally constructed as a naval dry dock in 2855 to take advantage of the lower gravity and breathable atmosphere found here. It was these same reasons that made the world such a great choice to be Crusader's new headquarters. When the company purchased Stanton II in 2865, Providence Platform underwent major renovations to transform it into the cutting-edge manufacturing center that it is today. Of course, while it may not be an official Navy site any longer, Crusader is proud to carry on the tradition of working to help people across the Empire. Believe it or not, building large spaceships is hard. If you attempted to build them in traditional factories on a planet with Earth-like gravity, you'd be faced with a massive amount of challenges just to arrange the ship's pieces into place and keep them from collapsing during construction. Sometimes these larger ships can't even leave the atmosphere after they're done, which is why most larger ships are finished in space. But space has its own set of issues. Sure, you don't have to worry about weight, but all your engineers and mechanics have to work in spacesuits, which is potentially more dangerous. On Crusader, our employees get the best of both techniques lower gravity, and they can work in atmosphere. No wonder people love working here. Aside from looking out for the populace of Orison, Crusader Industries is also committed to protecting the Stormwalls and preserving their natural habitat. They have even assembled prominent scientific consultants, zoologists, and researchers to represent the natural species of Crusader. This team not only continues to study and observe the Stormwalls in their natural habitat, but also is given visibility on various construction initiatives, like building new platforms or even switching fuel types on the Seraph thrusters to make sure that we are minimizing our footprint on the planet, guaranteeing that future generations will also be able to enjoy the sights and sounds of these incredible creatures. Sharing the CloudView Center platform is Orison General Med Station. This cutting-edge hospital was awarded best care in 2944 and 2945 and is capable of housing over 2,000 patients with a staff of nearly 20,000 employees between doctors, nurses, and administrative. Aside from immediate medical care, Orison General looks to the future of clinical care through their various research initiatives and departments. Hopefully none of you will need to see the inside of it as a patient. But if you do, you can rest assured that you're being treated by some of the best medical staff in the Empire. Orison is a city unlike any other, 
and when it came to designing its gardens, only the perfect tree would do. Something that was well adapted to high winds and low humidity, that could self-pollinate, and most importantly, was beautiful. So which tree won? None of them. After a lot of searching, Crusader's gardeners would have to create the perfect tree themselves. A cross-combination of flowering dogwoods and tabarbark pines, the Hosanna tree features strong roots, flexible branches, delicately scented pink flowers, and the ability to make just about any walk in the park a memorable one. To achieve the perfect level of atmospheric comfort, the vibrant city of Orison carefully maintains its precise orbital height above the gas giant Crusader, through controlled firing of the Seraph-class thrusters situated below each platform. Precisely timed to prevent shearing and destabilization of the connected network of struts, each thruster is activated for a short burst, allowing Orison to stay firmly in place. Crusader locals often describe the gentle vibrations that accompany the periodic adjustments as Orison's free massage. Be sure to hold on and enjoy. So what's the origin of Orison? Well, the UEE first scouted the system all the way back in 2851. The prospecting team flagged what was then Stanton II as a potential candidate for the Navy to use as a shipyard to build and service some of their massive capital ships. Sound familiar? It was exactly the same reason that Crusader Industries was so eager to pursue the purchase of the planet once the UEE decided to put the system up for sale. In fact, the planet was so uniquely suited to Crusader's needs that there wasn't a single other bidder to purchase it. All right, everybody. I'd like to direct your attention to the Providence Industrial Platform. The Providence platform was built on top of the original Navy shipyard and upgraded over the years to keep up with the latest technological advancements to act as the main production hub. But this platform isn't all about building ships. It's outfitted with gas refineries and even some retail shops in case you'd like to get your ships repaired. If you'd like to get a closer look, the Providence industrial platform is open to the public. So grab a shuttle and check it out for yourself. We're coming up on something that ought to be very familiar to you all, the August Dunlow Spaceport. Did you know that over 30 million people pass through this spaceport on average every year? Aside from being a travel hub for private spacecraft, August Dunlow Spaceport is an incredibly popular stopover point for commercial Starliners. But the traffic doesn't just stop there. Nearly 3 million SCU move in and out of this spaceport in any given week. If everyone will hold on, we're going to set down to take on additional passengers. It takes a special kind of person to join the Crusader Industries family. Not only do employees have to be highly qualified and skilled, but most importantly, they have to be passionate about what they do. CEO Kelly Kaplan always says, Crusader makes the best ships because we have the best employees. And it's true. Just look at the Crusader Cares charity initiative, spearheaded by the generous workers here at Orison, which has made a difference in the lives of people all over. Seems like they're trying to make the rest of the empire as happy as they are. While being a floating city may make for absolutely stunning vistas, it can be a bit tricky getting from platform to platform. No walking to work here. For Crusader employees and visitors alike, the solution is Orison Skyway Shuttle Service. Providing connections to all major platforms, Crusader offers free and convenient transit shuttles made right here in Orison. These recently redesigned shuttles feature signature crystal canopies that provide amazing views of the city as you travel, helping to make getting there half the fun. Beautiful, right? One of the questions that gets asked more often than, where are the storm walls, is, are there seasons on Crusader? The short answer is yes but they aren't as dramatic as you find on other planets. While a regular planet might have regions that shift from hot summers to cold winters, the seasons on Crusader don't tend to fluctuate in temperature. They are usually defined by the amount and intensity of the wind. That concludes our tour of Orison. All of us here at Orison Discovery Tours hope you had an entertaining and enlightening journey and hope that you enjoy the rest of your stay. Make sure to take all of your belongings before exiting, and if you're eager to learn more, seek out the discovery spots placed around the city to find out even more history and insight into Crusader Industries and Orison. Thank you again, and have a wonderful day.